Now, when evaluating for pulmonary embolisms and uh, or emboli rather and also detecting them it's important to also look at the lungs obviously you'll do this as part of your search pattern it's a ct scan of the chest you, should, you must always look at the lung parenchyma uh, but as you as you're looking especially in patients who have a conver confirmed pulmonary embolus um, you want to make sure that you interpret some of the opacities that you may be seeing appropriately. This patient has a multiple things going on, um, especially kind of uh, throughout the right lung. I mean, we see a lot of maybe central lobular tree and, or rather actually maybe more tree and bud um, consolidations suggestive of, you know, infection aspiration maybe in the, in the uh, lower portion of the right lung. Um, and there's the kind of ground areas of ground glass, but what we really want to focus on here is we see this very peripheral wedge shape uh, consolidation, and we can kind of appreciate it here too. This looks like it's in the um, you know in the right middle lobe here, and this in the setting of this patient that does have pulmonary emboli is very very characteristic of an infarct, pulmonary infarct. So when you're looking for um, you know, the sequelae consequences of pulmonary emboli, in addition to looking for elevated right heart pressures, which has a, you know, an impact on clinical management, it is also very useful to make sure that you interpret some of these findings um, appropriately and, and, and include in your differential for these like wedge-shaped uh, consolidations, peripheral especially, that those may be pulmonary infarct. Because that, that also... Um, is an important thing to be aware of that you you have basically tissue ischemia so significant that the you know you're infarcting part of your lung so i think that's very very important to to make sure that you look out for when you see a pe look for pulmonary infarcts but then similarly in the setting of a pe if you see consolidations or opacities um you you want to make sure that you uh are considering that it could be a pulmonary infarct